In the depths of the Congo rainforest, it's said that a population of savage giant apes rules supreme. They are known as the Bondo apes. Murky accounts of these creatures suggest they walk on two feet, stand the size of a grown man, and nest on the ground like gorillas. They are ferociously aggressive and have picked up a reputation for being lion killers. Some have argued they are a totally new species of great ape, while others contend they are a hybrid of gorillas and chimpanzees. While something interesting is going on with the great apes of the Congolese rainforest, it looks like many of the reports have been overstated and sensationalised. Like many tales of this kind, the story of the Bondo ape is likely to be a blend of both fact and fiction. One of the first scientific efforts to track down the mystery ape was made by Karl Amann, a Swiss-Kenyan photographer and conservationist in 1996. He reportedly came across a number of skulls held at the Royal Museum for Central Africa in Belgium that had been collected by Belgian colonisers near the town of Billy in the Northern Democratic Republic of Congo. The skulls featured a prominent mohawk ridge down the centre just like a gorilla, so they were classified as gorillas. But something was off. Other aspects of the skull's shape and size were more comparable to a chimp. Plus, there were no known gorilla populations living in the region where they were collected. Suspecting he may be on the cusp of a new discovery, a man ventured further north. Here, he spoke to local hunters who told him about sightings of giant apes who killed lions and were seemingly immune to poisonous darts. These strange beasts were also said to howl at the full moon. Although his mission managed to document an extremely large chimp poop and casts of footprints larger than a gorilla's, there was no conclusive proof. Another researcher who went on an expedition to track the apes gave interviews to the media. She said, It could be a new species unknown to science, a new subspecies of chimpanzee, or a hybrid of the gorilla and the chimp. A few years later, primatologist Dr. Cleve Hicks and his team observed what were believed to be Bondo apes for at least 20 hours in the wild. Hicks argued they were simply an interesting population of chimpanzees. DNA taken from poop samples confirmed this and showed the animals were eastern chimpanzees. Hicks' work showed that the Billy population of chimps was unusual, however. They did indeed have a ridge on their skull like a gorilla and made nests on the floor. They were also reported smashing up termite mounds and using a rock as an anvil to crack open the shell of a tortoise, which is not typical of chimp behaviour. The behaviour of the chimps in this region is still not completely understood, especially since the area has been subject to a number of wars in past decades that have disrupted conservation efforts. As ever, the world of great apes is always full of surprises. Thanks for watching Eiffel Science and don't forget to subscribe for more science videos.